Hey everyone, welcome back to TK's Tech Talk. I'm TK and this is TTKK or better known as the trusty kitchen knife. And today we will be unboxing this Charmast power bank, which is 23,800 milliamp hours. And this is supposed to be able to charge a laptop as well. So at up to 65 watts. I don't see that information here on the front of the packaging. So it has two power delivery ports one is for out only and one is for in and out so this can indeed be charged via uh, power delivery as well so that means it should charge relatively quickly i don't know exactly what the charging times are yet but when buying something like this you know you see a lot of reviews i bought this on amazon and you get some negative reviews and it doesn't work for some people and i'm sure that uh, there must there must be some sort of quality control issue here but let's just see what's uh, around the box first um so we're, what, my main purpose of this is charge a uh, Dell XPS 13 when I'm out and about. And I'm not sure what 23,800 milliamp equates to for uh, laptops. And I'm sure a lot of you have the same question. I really can't uh, work it out. I've tried some calculators online and I think the only way I realized to find out how this is going to work is to try it myself. So I've bought this power bank and I'm hoping that it really can charge the laptop at 65 watts because that would be amazing. Uh, so in the UK, this is on for around 42 pounds. Uh, with I believe they have some discount at the moment, or they did have any when I, at the time I was ordering it. So it's costing around 32 pounds. It was 25 percent off, uh, and I bought it here in the UAE. And uh, again, it was on sale. I think there was some discount. I forgot exactly what it was, but it's something around that price. So it comes in this nice soft touch case. And before we take that, let's make sure there's nothing else in the box. Oh, there is actually a USB-C to C cable also included in the box. And then some bedtime reading. But this time, I'm not going to call it bedtime reading. It might actually have some useful information in there. So let's have a quick look through it. Does it tell us about all of the supported voltages? Does it have PPS? I really don't think it does. But we're going to find out by using a Samsung phone. So... It's got lots of small information here. Power delivery three, quick charge three. Not sure if you can see that in the camera there. Uh, UN, USB-C, uh, you know what, let's go through this. I'll tell you later on with my testing how good it really is, right? We will work out all the numbers in a moment. Let's just have a look at the device first. So this is the device inside this nice uh, feeling bag. And let's just take it out. And this comes in a nice plastic bag. Hopefully they'll get rid of those soon because if you've got it in the case already, you don't really need that. So here's the power bank. Let me just zoom out a touch so you can see it a little bit better. Let's get rid of all the other fluff. So it f actually feels not too bad. Okay, it's not the best plastic in the world, but can't say it's terrible. It feels solid to be honest. Uh, Charmas logo there, power button there. It's got some charge out the box. Um, and it's got some ratings on the back as well now. Okay, so USB-C input, so this can charge at 45 watts. That's pretty amazing. And it says that it's rated at 23,800 milliamps, which is around 88 watt, 88 watt hours. And uh, obviously we don't know the efficiency numbers here, so I can't tell you exactly what it will equate to, whether it will be 70 watt hours or whatever it will be. And it's got all the ratings on the back there. And it says uh, for USB-C output, the one that's output only, we can get 65 watts from one port, which is really good. So we've got some plastic at the bottom here. Let's do the plastic pill and some more plastic on the top. Obviously we have to get rid of that to be able to access the ports. So let's get rid of that, get rid of the plastic and let's just have a quick look at the ports. Right, so this one here is out. So this can only provide power up when I believe this is the one that will give us the 65 watts power delivery and this is in and out so we can charge this at 45 watts and i believe it also outputs a maximum of 45 that's right so input output is 45 and the usb c in out output is 65 oh sorry okay i got that the wrong way around so the one that's usb c out in out does the 65 watts but however the input is only 45 watts so we'll see how fast that charges i'm going to do that test as well 
and this video is going to take me some time obviously testing over a few days and things like that so let's get the first thing to find out if it supports PPS. So this is a Samsung S20 FE, which supports 25 watt charging, but that does require a Samsung power adapter or a power delivery with PPS. We're gonna find out, because it doesn't say PPS, but sometimes these chargers, even though they don't say PPS, they do have PPS in them. Now, just so that you know, I'm hoping you can read this, but this is a fast gear cable. Let's see if you can read that. Can buy these on Amazon and all over the place. Um, there's a reason I'm pointing this out because it's something very important here. You see that five amps? I'm not sure why they haven't written the rest of it, but it's 20 volts, five amps, and also 10 gigabits. Not all cables like this are 10 gigabits. They may be 100 watt charging, but they're not 10 gigabits. So bear that in mind. And this is a 100 watt rated cable. So I'm using this to make sure that when we are charging our devices, we're always getting the correct. A power and I know this cable does at least 65 unfortunately I don't have a device to test at 100 watts but anyway we'll just say for argument's sake that it does right so I'm going to plug this one into the phone and before pressing the power button I'm just going to plug the power cable into the in-out port so we're just going to concentrate on the in-out port for now so I'm going to see if it turns on itself and it did okay that wasn't the best angle let me try and show you a bit up close so that you can see that it does indeed say super fast charging when I plug this in and there we go, super fast charging. So for anybody who knows, 25 watts is what Samsung calls super fast charging. So this power bank supports power delivery with PPS and that allows us to use 25 watts on a Samsung phone. That is really very good. And that also means I believe that this will charge the iPhone probably at 20 watts as well. It's just a guess, but going by experience, usually that is the case anyway. Let's just see what this other port can do. So let's try the other port as well. I know I said I'd be concentrating on the first one, but now I'm interested to see what happens when I use this other port. There we go. There's definitely a difference. So you see this time we're only getting fast charging. Important when doing this that we know that the right port is the one that we want to use. So we're going to concentrate on this port. Now, this cable it doesn't click let's try it. let's try their own cable let's try the short cable that came with with it oh that clicks properly so there we go there's another thing we have to think about when buying cables so let's just plug that in as well super fast charging so at least this cable we know is also doing super fast charging and i'm assuming they've provided this cable because it must be rated at at least 65 watts to allow this power bank to charge whatever device you're going to charge out of the box so let's use a small cable for now because at least it's clicking into place properly Okay, so before I move on to talking about the charging time for the power bank and how much charge the laptop gets from this power bank, there's something I forgot to mention earlier and that is pass-through. So unfortunately, this power bank doesn't appear to support pass-through. So I'm gonna do a quick demonstration here. So this has clearly got some charge. It's got three, three uh, lights there you can see on the, on the power bank, just about make them out in the video, I hope. And I'm gonna plug this into the laptop just so that we can see that the light at the front does turn on to show that it's charging might flash while it detects power requirements and there we go it's now charging so LED is now on and we can see that the laptop is indeed charging so now I'm going to plug the power cable we can just about see my adapter here into the power bank and let's see what happens so when I plug that in it starts charging the power bank you can see the lights blinking there but that light at the front of the laptop has now gone off so that indeed indicates that there is no pass through for this power bank so that's something that's important to you think about that for me it doesn't really matter and now that I've disconnected the power we should see the laptop continue charging I believe or we might need to plug it back in because it has actually disabled that port so let's try that quickly and there we go it's charging again as you can see from the front there so just wanted to mention that before we continue so for the first test, what I've done is I've, let, I've drained this power bank to zero. So we're going to char charge this power bank. Sorry, not going to charge. I have charged. I drained it to zero and let it charge. Okay, and there you can see the four bars. And I use this charger, which I've done a video on. It's a 100 watt USB-C charger. So we got a time of around two hours. It was more or less exactly two hours. Maybe give or take one or two minutes. I was monitoring every... Uh, 
20 minutes so it finished within the last section of the 20 minutes which was around two hours so we can safely say that it charges within two hours uh, to the full capacity now obviously to test the full capacity we have to you know we have to discharge we have to charge multiple phones or charge a phone multiple times so for my test what i've chosen to do is i've got my xps 13 here i've actually got a video about changing the hard drive on this laptop as well so we're going to check how fast it can charge the xps 13. okay so you should be able to see that my battery is indeed at four percent at the moment and this will give us a good idea it's a 52 hour about 52 watt hour battery so using this power bank we'll be able to see will it be able to recharge the full laptop or how far will it get before the 23,000 milliamp depletes so i'm going to plug the charger in and let's see what sort of speed we get with it it should be okay turns on automatically which is really nice and it's showing me 65 watts and it's charging so let me restart back into windows because I, I actually want some tasks running i'm going to leave it in high performance mode and then we can see how good it does okay so we're back in windows i'm actually i've actually got epic's game launch open i'm downloading shadow of the tomb raider so that i can at least have some sort of activity uh, while i do this test and as you can see here uh, I'm not sure if you can just just I'm not sure if you can make that we're gonna go by the time on the laptop the laptop says 9.03 a.m. and we are at 5% battery okay so it's been plugged in for a couple of minutes already but we will, we will allow for that few minutes of error in our calculation but just so that you can see while I've got Epic's game launcher open if I go to my task manager you will definitely see that there is some use and I'm sorry about the reflective screen guys but this is the issue with this so you can see that we are definitely using CPU and while it's open I don't know why but it even uses some GPU and maybe once it's finished downloading I'll leave a video running or something I want to get like a and I've got the screen brightness just to add to that at uh, 100% okay so this will give us a good idea of with this power bank attached how fast while activity is going on can we get to 100% and how much of the battery would we have left or how much of the power bank would it use to give us that percentage? So we're on 5%, uh, it's, like I said, it was 903 at 5%. So I'll come back when it's completed charging, whichever way, whether the bat battery, uh, the power bank finishes or the laptop or, or the laptop will fully charged. So we'll be back after that and we can discuss the results. Okay, so we're approaching the end of this test. I'm not sure if you can make it out, but the power bank is flashing. It's been flashing for a few minutes now. Just got my recording stuff set up and the battery is now on 48%. So we've gained about 43% so far. So we can say that this power bank uh, with some use, I've been running this uh, for a while. I've been watching some videos while it's doing this, by the way, while it's been doing this in the background. But when I minimize this, it does use less GPU, but uh, it's been running like this for the last 45 minutes. So I think that, almost 45 minutes anyway. So we started at 9.03, it's 9.57, sorry, 50, more than 50 minutes actually. It's been running for about almost 55 minutes. So now if you think about it, we've got 50 minutes of use out of the laptop while it's charged around 40%. So that really is not bad if you think about it. So this is a great power bank for anybody who's got a portable laptop and wants some additional power on uh, while you're out and about. So I think for me, it's definitely worth it for having something like this and it's small and compact. It will fit into my bag easily so I can take just the laptop and the power bank without worrying about having an extra power source or plug or anything like that. Uh, you know, if I'm sitting somewhere and I don't have access to a PowerPoint, it's great use. So we're sitting at as we talk we're on 49 percent battery so we've gained about 45 percent battery and we've gained 55 minutes of usage time out of the laptop so i'm going to leave it like this let it run to the end let's see how far we get and how much extra time we're able to achieve from this power bank okay so the power bank is fully dead i did actually record the screen but it was blurry so i decided not to post that and i'm recording a couple of hours later now but i'll tell you what the results were Basically, we gained 50% charge. So we finished on 54% with just over an hour's usage. It was just about an hour and four minutes or something. So let's call it one hour. So we've got one hour's use plus 50% charge. And that is a pretty good result, I think. At least we're gaining a good amount of use now from the laptop on the go. So if you're using something small and light like this uh, with low, relatively low power usage, you'd get a decent amount of charge. Of course, if you have a bigger battery, a uh, bigger laptop with a more demanding, with more demanding power, or if you're playing a game or something, it probably won't last as long. 
but at least we're able to get a good amount of charge or extra use out of the laptop. Another use case would be to keep the laptop at 100% and use this as a power adapter until it dies and then you have 100% battery remaining for your out and about travels. So thanks for watching. Please do feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.